Switch 2 rumors are really starting to heat up, and even a huge feature for the console itself. But let's break that all down, up next. What's going on guys, it's Kalo, and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video and welcome to the level up. So I think it's safe to say talking about the Switch 2, the Super Switch, or whatever have you, has become a little bit of a tradition every week on this here channel. We've covered practically any and all the rumors surrounding this console, and I'm kind of just thinking to myself now, what am I actually going to do when this console gets revealed? Speaking of a reveal, we got some information surrounding just that. And this could all be good news or bad news depending how you look at it. People have theorized a reveal in early 2025, with a release anytime from February to June. But allow me to lay out the groundwork here that could hint at some type of reveal, let's just say in the next couple weeks. Nintendo just held a Direct that combined two events, and that's all for the price of one, which is a very different tactic by them. Since then, people have begun to stoke this flame that Nintendo was doing this to make way for that classic September Direct that would then go on to reveal the Switch 2. But no one stoked this flame more than the head of GameIndustry.biz's Christopher Drake, because he had some keen words to say about a reveal. Quote, with industry whispers around something Switch 2 related happening this month, I thought I'd remind everyone of the official list of greatest game consoles of all time. One, Nintendo Switch. Two, everyone else. The important part from this here tweet is that whispers are being passed around, and that's all about the Switch 2 in some type of way, shape, or form. And you know that good old saying, where there's smoke, there is definitely fire. Now let's move on to Andy Robinson from the VGC, who did chime in on this matter as well, where he claimed a bunch of press have pretty much heard the same thing, but he wouldn't bet the house on this. Basically, what this all means is rumors are making the rounds behind the scenes, but again, they're just rumors, and that doesn't really confirm anything, at least at this time. But you know me, I like my numbers. I'm going to give you some that could back this all a little more. Now, let's take a look at what David Gibson had to say here, because we have actual numbers that could pair nicely with a Switch 2 reveal. Quote, no one seems to have noticed the Nintendo assembler, Hoisden, is spending 2 billion yen on product equipment and 1 billion in automation in fiscal year 3, 2025, for its major customer and amusement, Nintendo. I still expect September news and a March 2025 release for the device. Now, for those of you who don't know what this chart means, basically Nintendo's assembly partner who makes these devices is spending a lot of money. And that's all just kind of happening out of the blue. So this could all possibly back the notion something is happening soon. What it is, I don't know. For all I know, February, we could get the Direct to reveal it and they might release the console in June. At this point, everything's up in the air. But as of right now, just kind of take this all with a grain of salt. I, on the other hand, am still holding on to this notion of a September Direct with the release of the console happening in early 2025. And to kind of hedge my bets here, I'm staying March. Now, while we are talking about the Switch 2, let's bundle in a rumor about the console's features. This is all coming from MyNintendoNews.com and Nate the Hate, where a very welcome feature might have just been confirmed as well. Quote, you see, Nate the Hate, a reliable leaker and insider, has made a post on Reddit saying the Switch 2 will have backwards compatibility. He is not the first one to say this, as there has been a history of the Switch 2 rumors saying the same thing. In fact, some have even gone as far as saying that backwards compatibility will be both for physical and digital games. Nevertheless, nothing has been officially confirmed yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. Now, this really isn't a rumor that's too far out there, especially when it comes to features for the Switch 2. Nintendo in the past has been normally great when it comes to backwards compatibility in their consoles. And let's not forget the addition of NSO, which would spawn a great digital library for their older games. The only thing I'm kind of sitting here waiting for is GameCube games. Where are they? I need them physically, I need them digitally. Whatever means, Nintendo, please just do it. But with all that being said, I'm going to pass this question off to you once again. When are we getting the reveal 
and when is the release of the Switch 2? But that about does it here. I've been Kalo, I gave you the lowdown on all things gaming, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video, and this has been The Level Up.